Well, hello, my fellow Americans and fellow Christians. Thank you for joining me for another day of freedom of the way of the Lord here in the United States of America. My fellow Christians, I particularly address you today. I am asking you today to not put a lot of faith in those who have the promises of God and would give them to you as if they can in some way deliver you from a psychological or a disorder in the mind and body. Just recently we had a well-known evangelist, actually two evangelists, who talked about post-traumatic stress syndrome disorder, as if the promise of God could just deliver them at the snap of the fingers from this situation. Folks, the real way to approach this is that men and women who have this PTSD is to seek God Almighty on what course to seek in prayer concerning the psychological needs they have. Who to see and how to handle it would be the prayer. But to just put faith in a promise of God will not do it. And I am a great believer in the promises of God. But the Lord actually sometimes says, use common sense. The Lord's word is absolutely true. The Lord's word will deliver. But the Lord does not always do as his word promises concerning some of his promises the way we would want it accomplished. You can put faith in a promise of God. And it may take a long time for it to come to pass. But it will come to pass in the way God desires it. Not the way that you desire it. So when men and women of God put promises of God out there for some type of deliverance, this is almost tantamount of the faith that people have in some of these discs that you can get that says you can learn French in 40 easy hours. Or one of the more uh, <coughs> humorous ones is brain surgery self-taught. Or trigonometry learned in an afternoon. Folks, these things do not happen. The Lord intends us to not only discipline our minds and our hearts. He intends us to use common sense. This is the problem with the Christian church today. And this is why I am addressing Christians. To get away from the wonder doctrines. I have seen it destroy more homes, more ministries, more character than anything I have seen in my lifetime. It has destroyed families. It has absolutely upset minds. It has actually caused divisions within the home. And it's simply because of the misrepresentation of God Almighty. Through experience, all I can tell you is that the best way to approach the good Lord is to go to church on Sunday and live your life after that, having the Christian mind, soul, and heart ethic in your life. Following the patterns that you believe the good Lord is putting within your heart and take that Christian ethic and character with you daily that it may spill over into the world but not force it or impose your views or thoughts or life upon others. But let them see your Christian character. This is the most powerful witness there is. To forcefully bring the gospel forward as we are seeing today and as these two evangelists have grandstanded now, not only with concerning vaccines in the United States, but PTSD. 
we are seeing what men and women are increasingly doing in imposing Christian faith upon the social way of life here in the United States of America. And that is not what the Lord has ever intended. The Lord preached and He spoke and He let men and women decide for themselves. That is what church is all about on Sundays, folks. That preacher on Sunday should be in that pulpit giving the message of the Lord, you taking it, and you either taking it or rejecting it and walking out of there and living your life in the best way you know that is possible. This is the only means in which righteousness, truth, and honor can come forward. To force the life of Christianity upon a person is the worst scenario that you can ever have. And we are witnessing within the United States of America how it has socially distorted what the United States has been. Has taken away its glory because the gospel has not been preached correctly. They have preached economic power and success. Look at our nation today. Where is it? That's because economic power and success is not based on what you want to take as the Word of God and say it's a truth and these things shall come to pass. No. Economic power and success comes through the mind and the heart of diligent men and women who bring forward the character, the discipline, the responsibility of individual character and taking that into the business world, taking that into the social network of the country and you take that with you as an example and other people then latch onto it because they see the goodness of it and it is no longer force but it becomes a unity and a common goal and a common purpose unknowingly but spiritually. And you are intertwined together. That's the power of the Lord. Not what you are seeing today. Men today are eloquent. Men today speak the same as the world. Do you remember how it says when the Lord was walking after the resurrection next to some other individuals on a road. And he was talking to them. And do you remember what the word said? It said, you, do you, they talk to each other and they say, I remember now how our hearts burn within us. That's the power of the Lord. That's the unction of the Lord. But the intermixing, the shaking of hands of socialism, Ministers today having press agents, publicists, trying to get their message out. And let me say that again. Their message out. Not the Lord's. They are taking the gospel as a social means and not as a power of God that moves in the soul, mind, and heart of men and women. And just recently, we see how Billy Graham was saying that we need a spiritual awakening in the United States. Well, if evangelical Christianity and televangelism has been that powerful, folks, then why do we need a spiritual awakening? It's because the gospel has been presented to us in the wrong way, in the wrong manner, by golden-tongued wonder doctrine preachers. And these doctrines are absolutely wrong. And they do not put within your means the responsibility of you just having a one-on-one -on -one relationship with God and living your life before Him as you choose and please and let God work within you instead of how they can self-help you psychologically. May you come to Christ today and hear the words of the Lord and get the unction from Him. God bless you and God bless. United States of America.